Okay, now we're going to do the cleanup of the embedding center. I can't tell you and stress enough how much keeping this clean, how important that's going to be. All right, I have a scraper there. Now I have a couple of scrapers that I use. Now you can even use these for the floor too. Um, they're just little paint scrapers I bought from the store. You can get a real nice wide one for the floor. I don't know where it went. I have one that I keep by the um, processor. I have gauze that I use also. So I know I'm not going to be using this embedding center for a while. So first I'm going to clean it all up. Um, for sure I'm going to turn off the cold plate for now. And I'll give that a wipe down. Get all the extra paraffin off of it. Now these little edges here get a lot of paraffin stuck in there. There's not a lot you can do about that. But once in a while I kind of brush it out. So I'll put this down because it does get a lot of moisture there. And I take these scrapers and I scrape all this because um, when I was adding paraffin in it, um, some of it got on the lid. So you can get some of that off. I just scrape all around, keep it nice and neat. Um, a lot of paraffin buildup gets right here and starts lifting up the lid. So I go and I take care of that. And I do this after every use. It's like scrape it down, give it a little wipe. That's why it stays pretty clean. When people come in, they, they notice that it's not paraffin gets on this a little bit back here. Now you don't want to scrape. I have a, um, there's actually some, some, um, sealant here. You don't want to scrape that sealant off. That's not paraffin, that's sealant. You can see it is actually clear. Now we have this, um, handle that we, this lever that we use for dispensing the paraffin. Now I hold it just slightly forward and I give this a scrape. These here, after I wipe out this, I'm going to throw them in there to melt off the paraffin off of the forceps. And then this little cold thing gets a lot of paraffin buildup, as you can see. See all the paraffin on there. Now we have two trays. There's one here that just gets a little bit of empty um, stuff from the edges here. So I don't do this every time. I probably clean this every few weeks when I think of it, this particular tray. However, this tray over here, I take a look at every time I, um, this tray right here I use every time because it gets a lot of paraffin buildup, as you can see from the dispenser, dispensing level. And it, so that's going to need a good scraping out. It's kind of thick to get done. And if you don't scrape this out and you're neglectful on this one, it can actually get paraffin back into the unit and it can break the unit. We've already had a service call on this one time, so make sure to, to do this tray. So in this case, this cleanup is, is very important to this particular machine. It's not just being picky. Okay, so we'll get that scraped out. Get these edges, because we don't want it paraffin to get down into the unit. Now, you guys weren't aware of all this cleaning stuff that I do on these units, because you've had me to do it, but 
It's very important. Um, I also cleaned this um, warming tray here really good. I've scraped off the little cold area that gets a lot of paraffin buildup. It's highly important to clean off this and clean off in these little ridges. The reason it's important is, let's say you're embedding and you drop your tiniest little one day old um, embryo gonads or tiny little tissue that's like a pepper flake and you drop it in there, if there's other extraneous tissue stuck down in there, how do you know that that's your tissue of interest that you dropped? Or was it leftover junk that was on this embedding center? You really would not know that. So, but if you keep it clean each time after every use, then you, it's not a problem. So what I do is I take a piece of gauze and I actually take one of the forceps and I just run it along these little ridges, you know, fairly quickly and give it a little look. And it doesn't take much time to do this. I'm going kind of slow for your purposes to show you, but in reality, it should only take you, you know, a minute or two to, to do this each time. Go along these ridges and get this extra paraffin and stuff out. And make sure there's no, see those little tissue flecks and stuff that build up in there. And, you know, you can give a little check in here. You can take a piece of gauze and just wipe that out with a forcep. As they, you know, in a clinical lab, they, they do this pretty meticulously because they don't want to accidentally pick up a little, what they call a floater, a piece of tissue that they didn't expect. See, here's a little piece of tissue right here. Now you would not maybe not know that whether that was your good tissue or not. It's just a little tiny fleck of something. And you just want to avoid that. So another reason for keeping it nice, besides just not having paraffin everywhere. Okay, so we'll scrape the front side of this. Now probably every few months I might separate these and scrape the sides but I don't go that far every time. All right, so we have paraffin buildup from the tissue cassettes in here. So now this tray actually can come out or you can just wipe it out. If it gets quite a bit in there, you can just take it and dump it and give it a wipe. And then wipe on the bottom here. I mean, I do this so quickly, I, I, it's, it's like second nature. I don't even think about it so much anymore. And this lid actually comes off, so you can scrape it. You know, I don't always remove it, but it does come off. So if you're missing a tissue block, you might consider taking this lid and kind of looking and see if it happened to get up under there. And you can see the paraffin on this starting to build up. And that's with me even keeping up with it, cleaning it. Okay. Then I throw these in too to just kind of melt off the little residual paraffin. This up here also has um, paraffin build up. You can just see it dripping from the cassettes. It just builds up after a while. So I'll take a paper towel and give it a wipe out. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's nice to get a lot of that out. Not have it too sopping wet with paraffin up here. Again, it's amazing how, where this paraffin gets and quickly. All right. And we'll close the thermal console lid and give this a little scrape. Now I like using the gauze because it has a little bit of an abrasiveness to it. So just gets all the little extra. And that's pretty well done. I'm going to add a little paraffin to the top here. 
Now, when you add the paraffin, it melts down to about a third of what you see it being filled at because it's little flakes. So I use this brand of paraffin. This particular brand is good for embedding and um, it's good for the processor for in what we call infiltration. In other words, getting it ready for embedding. It's got a little um, little thing here to be able to rip it off. Let me just put some of that in there. Again, you don't want to spill this all over. You don't need very much. Just now, you don't want to quickly melt this paraffin. I have it set at 57 degrees. Um, you don't want to raise this temperature. You, to adjust the temperature, it's in the back of this unit. I don't recommend changing that. 57 degrees is absolutely perfect. If you have it too hot and you're wanting, um, it actually changes the polymers in the paraffin. There's plastic polymers. And over time, those polymers break down and then it makes a real sticky, not very good, um, embedding and cutting media. So just keep it around the 57. And and I wouldn't raise, you just never want paraffin too far above its melting point. Okay. Uh, I think I'll put this over here. Moving right along. I'm going to turn this off. Right here. You turn the light off. You don't want to waste this light bulb. Turn this power off. This power button here actually has, um, sometimes it doesn't come on right away. It happens to today. But once in a while you have to wiggle it a little bit to get it to come on. So make sure it lights up there. If not, wiggle it a little. And then we're going to turn this off. And of course this thermal console is off. Or the cryo console.